Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS F16C Viper video, we'll discuss the final bombing mode coming to the Viper, the Low Altitude Droge Delivery or LAD bombing mode. Much like CCRP toss bombing, LAD allows low altitude toss bombing ingress attacks, but it provides some unique parameter settings that are not available in CCRP toss bombing. Well, certainly an interesting option and included for the sake of completeness, I think that you'll find that the standard CCRP toss bombing is preferable. I may be incorrect, but it's my understanding that LAD is more designed for toss bombing of airburst nuclear weapons under very defined conditions. And no, we have no plans to include nukes in DCS. Let's get started. Okay, so first of course we're gonna to go to air to ground master mode. And now here on the Smith page, uh, right now, of course, we're in CCIP bombing mode and we want to switch that to LAD mode. So we'll go to OSB2 and we'll select LAD from the list. Now, unlike CCRP and CCIP, we can't uh, select it through the HOTAS using the nose wheel steering uh, missile step switch. Uh, next, we'll go to the control page. And down here, we're going to select our release angle, which defaults at 45 degrees. Press the OSB. Let's do a 30 degrees. So three, zero, enter. Now we have a release angle of 30 degrees. Uh, next, we have our LAD functions. We'll select OSB 6. And there's uh, three different uh, settings we can set here. We have our pull up range, our time of flight, and our minimum release altitude. So first at the top here, we have our PR or pull up range, which falls to 25,000 feet. Now, uh, generally unlike the CCRP toss mode where it automatically uh, set the PR based on release angle, you have to manually do that in the LAD mode. So as a very general uh, guidance, if you have 45 degree release angle, set it to about uh, 45,000 feet of uh, pull up range. For 30 degrees, set it to about 40,000 feet. And for a 20 degree uh, release angle, set it to about uh, 35,000 feet. So in this case, we have a uh, 30 degree, so we're gonna go ahead and set that to 40,000 feet. Four, zero, zero, and enter. We're going to keep the uh, time of flight uh, defaulted to 28 seconds. Hit enter again and bring it down now to our minimum release altitude. And this is a bit of a tricky one. And in all likelihood, this is where we're going to catch up most people um, having trouble with this. So basically what this is, is that you must be at this altitude within five seconds of the pull up release cue. If you don't get there within five seconds, you're not going to be able to release a bomb. So in this case, I'm at uh, almost 500 feet and the MRA is 1,100 feet. That's pushing it. So I want to put, push this down to about 800 feet just to make sure. So 800 and enter. So go control again. And now we have release angle 30 degrees, our pull up range of 40,000 feet, time of flight of 28 seconds and our minimum release altitude of 800 feet. That looks good. Up on the HUD, of course, we have our box marking our uh, calculated uh, target point, our speed. And just like we did for the CCRP toss modes, we have our vertical steering bar here at the bottom and our release cue at the top. And as we get closer, uh, both of these are going to start to march to the middle. And once it intersects the flight path marker, the FPM, is our release cue. And at that point, we're gonna pull up about four Gs to 30 degrees based on release angle. Now, unlike CCRP in toss mode, we're not gonna have the um, uh, anticipation cue, the reticle, nor are we gonna have the bracket for the range. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, unpause. So just flying the flight path marker along the ASL, the ASM steering line. And once I see the uh, vertical steering bar and release really coming down, I'm going to press and hold down the weapon release button. I want to be about military power before we go into the pull up. And intersect and pull up about 4G. 
coming up to 30 degrees. Hold it here. Keep the flight path marker on the ASL. About 30 degree angle. Increase some speed. Release cue coming down. Intersects and bombs away. We have a target SAM site in the uh, little tarmac area up ahead. And compared to other bombing modes, this by far is going to be the least accurate. Sometimes it may go a little long, sometimes a little short, sometimes right on target. Yeah, pretty good. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video on using the LAD bombing mode, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.